it is a house like no other. A house where cameras watch your every move and microphones hear your every word. This is the Big Brother house. Tonight, 13 total strangers will walk into this house, hoping to call it home for the next three months. They have agreed to live in total confinement, shut off from the outside world, while competing for food, luxuries, and most importantly, power. Once a week, the house guests will vote to evict one of their own. In the end, only one will remain and be able to claim the half million dollar prize. But this season, there is a twist so shocking, it will change the lives of some of our house guests forever. It all begins tonight on the season premiere of Big Brother 5. A new season, a new house, and 13 completely new house guests. Good evening, I'm Julie Chen. Welcome to Big Brother 5. Tonight, we'll meet the men and women who are saying goodbye to their families and friends, leaving their lives behind, all for the chance to compete for a half million dollars. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, to Decatur, Illinois, to San Antonio, Texas, for the first time ever, we have 13 house guests from 13 different states. And we're letting America watch their every move for the next three months as they battle to be the last person standing. They are total strangers who think they have nothing in common, but some are in for the shock of their lives. We'll reveal our brand new twist in just a moment. But first, let's see what happened when we surprised our house guests with the key to their new journey. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm Karen. And I'm gonna paint the competition into a corner. I'm Jace. I'm gonna get all the ladies fired up. I'm Jennifer. And I always stand out in the crowd. I'm Marvin. And I'm gonna bear the competition. You guys made a good decision. Can I keep this? <laughs> No way. <laughs> this is what it's all about, the 500,000. Thanks, girls. I'm Diana. And the odds are in my favor. Seriously, now I'm embarrassed. I'm Drew. And I'm going from twin brother to big brother. I'm Mike. I'm going to call a freak a freak and let it fly. I'm Holly. Ditsy is my strategy. I'm Michael. My heart is as big as my belt buckle. The hardest part about this is leaving the family. I love y'all. I'm crying, but that's only because I had too much to drink. <laughs> You're going to the Big Brother house. Oh, yes. I'm just like dying. I'm Adria. And I'm going to push it to the limit. What's up? I'm Scott. I'm the player from Pittsburgh. What you see is what you get. I'm Lori. And I'll be stretching my stay as long as possible. I'm Will. And this summer, the other house guests are going to get a taste of my medicine. Oh my god! I'm aesthetic. <laughs> I'm on cloud 12. It's the key to going to Big Brother. We're leaving in an hour? It's exciting, but an hour? He's helping me pack. Let's oh, go. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, Mom. Guess what? I made it. I'm going to Hollywood, Big Brother 5, baby. Swimming pools, movie stars. I'm going to LA, big time. A couple crackheads every now and then, but for the most part, that's a nice city. Big brother, here I come. I don't know what to take. I've got my Speedo, like, I've got my underwear. They're gonna probably call me dumb a thousand times. It's something I'm suspecting. I'm gonna try really hard to be clean. Hopefully, you know, they, they won't find anything bad about me. Woo! 
I hate rude people. There's obviously going to be some weirdos in the house, and uh, hopefully I'm not one of them. The type of people who irritate me, good old boy. Cowboy it up. I just hope that there's no, like, annoying cheerleader types. And I'm going to miss my mannequin. Right, madam? <laughs> Can I get involved with the girls? There's hot guys there. I want to smell good. Because women are the devils. Hooking up isn't out of my vocabulary because I am single at this time. This is going to be one good time. There's going to be a lot of deception and you don't know what's going on, but um, hopefully they'll have good manners. Dude, people are going to see whenever I pick my nose and like <laughs> scratch my... <laughs> yeah. You going to teach everyone yoga? Yeah, why not? I'm a politician, but more of a smooth criminal. Who's the president of the United States? George Bush. That a boy. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 Oh Bye. my god, Bye. you gotta win. Let's go. I love you very much. <laughs> you gotta okay. be strong. Okay. You're the man of the house right now. Really fine. Oh, good. I'm getting kind of upset right now. Look at all the tears. Big brother, here I come. Here I come. Here I come. Bye. I love you, but I gotta go. I win this one. Take it, baby. I gotta win this go one. Get Thirteen house guests poised and ready to start their adventure. But in the tradition of Big Brother, we've thrown in an astonishing twist. We call it Project Do Not Assume, Project DNA for short. Why? Because for the first time on Big Brother, two house guests are related by blood, and amazingly, they have no idea of this connection. Find out who these family members are later in the show. But for now, let's meet our house guests. This is the very first time they've met. They are not allowed to say a word to each other until they are actually inside the house. Hello, house guests. I'm Julie. Take a good look at the men and women around you. Like it or not, this is your new family. You'll get to know each other very well over the next three months. Among these people, you may find your new best friend or your own worst enemy. But remember, ultimately, each of you is on your own. This is, after all, a competition, a rigorous summer-long power struggle. Once you walk through those doors behind you, you won't come out until you've either been evicted or won the half-million-dollar prize. In just a few minutes, you'll be entering the house in three groups. Once inside, you will have one minute to choose your new bed. There are three bedrooms, each with its own unique advantages and disadvantages. Remember, make your choices quickly and carefully. The first four to enter the Big Brother house are Adria, Lori, Michael, and Jace. Go on in. Can we talk? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, congratulations, everyone. Hey, guys, oh, isn't, right. the, isn't the... Oh, this, cool, we got a fish This way, this way. No, this one's by itself. Oh, shoot. I no, that sucks. No, that sucks. No, that's sorry. the thing. Sorry. 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 When I first came to the house, I was like, jackpot, uh, Big Brother 5, hooked it up. You know, th these girls, uh, to look at them all, there's tons of cute girls in this house. I'm Laurie. The next group to enter the Big Brother house will be Jennifer, Holly, Scott, Marvin, and Drew. Go on in. We gotta find a room. Check this out. Horrible. Oh, we got a fish tank. We have sharks, dude. Gorgeous. We'll have to share, guys. Parking together. What is this? And all that we have is cots or these, man. What? 
Hi. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Drew and Scott are jock frat boy types. I've never lived with boys like that. I don't really know what to do about it. I'm gonna take one for the team. Where's the, where's the damn cock? Oh, that's right here, man. Sorry. Yeah. That's why I'm taking. I'm hardcore. I don't want the lady sleeping on nothing bad. My strategy coming in was to pick the worst possible bed in here so that we see that Marvin's taking one for the team. I'm Adrian. Adrian, I'm yeah. Marvin. Good to meet you, Marvin. The final group to enter the Big Brother house is Diane, Karen, Will, and Mike. Go on in. Well, here it is. Here's our bedroom. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> no. Get comfortable, guys. We're sleeping on stone slabs. Do you know what I said before this? I said, my ass is oh. sleeping on concrete. <laughs> when I first saw my room, I was like, OK, now I know what prisoners feel like. Should we go? I'll, I'll go over here and like get to know each other. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. Hey, I used to serve this stuff. Pop it open. Oh, you're you gotta go easy, old. You know. Big Brother Five. Oh, yeah. It's a new friendship. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the ladies want to know where everyone's from, so we're gonna go in circles and say we're, your name is. We're real old. Kick us off. Hi, my name is Marvin. Hey, I'm from Conway, South Carolina. Woo! Okay. Yeah, small town right outside of uh, sunny downtown Myrtle Beach. Cool. Uh, golf capital of the world, by the way. No, I'm a mortician. Oh, mortician? Really? Seriously. Oh, for real? Wow. wow. Sweet. Whoa, you see Ooh. dead people? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Holly from Hollywood. I was named after the Hollywood sign. Oh, Lord. Holly. Poor thing. I mean, she is a sweet girl, but let's not ask Holly to do any long division anytime soon. All right, so y'all, where you from? Uh, I'm from Spring Hill, Florida, but I'm originally from Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Jersey girl. What Florida. exit? <laughs> what kind of work you do? I'm a portrait artist. Wow. Yeah. I do pictures of grandmas and babies. And no new pictures? No, unfortunately. I'm kind of hard, oh, hard up. The guy Marvin was really over the top. I mean, he was like very much a control freak and dominating things and trying really hard to rule the roost. All right, Lori. The lovely, yeah. talented Lori. Lori, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. Hey. I'm from Boston, and I moved to L.A. about four months ago. Laura's an absolute knockout. She's she's strong as battery ash, hotter than lava. Definitely my type of chick. <laughs> hey, my big bro. Pretty much. Okay, hey, I'm Adria and I'm from Alabama. I'm just so excited to be here. I mean, I would never have guessed, you know, one minute I'm down in Alabama and the next minute, you know, it's like, okay, cool, go out here and just, you know, check it out. I'm totally lost. All right, I'm Will, and I'm from Tupelo, Mississippi, birthplace of Elvis Presley. Sweet. Wow. Take the floor. All right. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm a professional athlete, um, was football. Uh, I went to the University of Pittsburgh, uh, got my business degree. I'm not an idiot, not a jock. Uh, Scott is like the football player alpha male type, and I think that Scott is probably going to be my biggest immediate threat. <laughs> Next! Next up. Needed to move. Um, my name is Mike, and I'm from Detroit, and I'm Detroit. overwhelmed by all these nice looking people that have really interesting jobs because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I paint commercial buildings. That's really? What I do. That's cool. yeah. Like skyscrapers or like this? No, room? not that big. <laughs> uh, and I have two sons. Who's babysitting? Both their mothers. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, my name is Drew, and um, I just graduated from Miami of Ohio with a degree in business as well. Drew is cute, and Scott is cute. The men in the house are very, very good looking. Hi, I'm Diane. I was born in Texas, but I grew up in Ohio. Oh. I have a twin sister, Lindsay. Same. I, I, got a twin, I got a twin brother. Shut the hell up. I swear to God. I got a twin brother. And this is like the first time we've been apart for more than like four days. Is it killing so, you? Yeah, I couldn't believe it when she said that she had a twin sister. It was so weird that we were sitting right next to each other. We're moving on to you. All right, me, um, I'm Jace, everyone. I went to the Air Force right out of high school. I uh, did that oh. for four years. I studied fire science in college, and since February I've been going through the process to be a firefighter. I'm Jennifer, um, but I prefer to be called Nokomis. 
Uh, Nokomis is a name that I got whenever I was 15. Um, means daughter of the moon, just it means a lot to me. I don't know, maybe it's Indian. It sounds Indian, I don't know. So that's just weird. What's your tattoo? <laughs> tattoo is yeah. this. Wow. And then I have six other ones. Uh, Jennifer, she's a little a little different than uh, most of the other girls in the house, and it's gonna maybe maybe be hard for her to like bond and, and get into a thing. My name is Michael. I was born in Houston, Texas, but I'm from Durant, Oklahoma. Uh, Oklahoma. Heck yeah. <laughs> uh, I do ride bulls uh, on my spare time. Cowboy seems really cool. He's nice, uh, very original, very unique. I'm doing this for my family and, you know, uh, opportunity to meet new friends. So here I am. Definitely. Cool. Amen. Everybody's been polite and personable and funny and I mean I'm sure that'll all change. And anybody that doesn't see that, they're not in here to, to win, obviously. In the Big Brother house, everything is a competition, and that includes winning food for the week. Up next, it's the first food competition. Will the house guests go hungry or will they win this week's groceries? And later, more on Project DNA as I reveal the identity of the house guests who are related. Remember, they have no idea of this connection, and neither do their housemates. Welcome back to Big Brother 5. Our 13 house guests have spent some time getting to know each other and their new home. Now, ready or not, it's time for their first food competition. Hi, everybody. Hey. How do you like your new home? Hey. It's awesome. All right, for the next three months, I'll be communicating with all of you through this screen. Now, as you may have noticed, the kitchen is stocked solely with Big Brother's favorite cuisine, peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> but have no fear, each week you will have the chance to compete for groceries. Yes. If you win, it's a variety of food for the week. If you lose, PB&J will be your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Gross. You gonna enjoy this? Absolutely not. <laughs> I would like everyone to head out to the backyard and take a place on one of the designated mats. Let's get it. Trouble. When I walked outside, I saw this giant molecule-y type of science project gone bad. All right, house guests, your first food competition is a twist, literally. In front of you is a food spiral. On the spiral are a variety of colored balls, but it's the yellow ones that are most important. Each of the yellow balls represents a specific type of food. Your job is to collect as many of those yellow balls as you can because they will determine the house groceries for the week. One by one, you must carefully work your way across the spiral ladder as it spins and turns, collecting the yellow balls and placing them into the bags we have provided. It's a very twisty situation. Each of you will be given 75 seconds to cross the ladder. And if you fall along the way, you're out of the game. If you don't reach the end within the 75 seconds, you'll earn no groceries for the house. All right, Michael. Yes, ma'am. You are first in line. Please step up to the platform. Yeah. No, Michael. I was really scared being first in line on this new game. You ready for her to start? Yes, ma'am. Then let the spiraling begin. Thank you. Forty-five seconds left on the clock. Thirty seconds left. Let's get to the end. You're doing great. Yeah. Oh, yes. 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 
Yeah. Michael's great because uh, I think he has like more superior ability or something. He got some monkey in the family somewhere. All right, Jace, you're next. I'm ready. All right, then let the spiraling begin. Jace, try to get some meat. Come on, Jace. Come on, you can do it. You got plenty of time. Take your time. Take your time. I had balls in my mouth at one point, just trying to like get him into this bag, and I was like, just don't fall. You don't want to be the you know first person to fall. Yeah. You got it. Ten seconds. Drew, you're up. I'm making sure I'm getting this beer. Nope. Where's the beer? It's, it's on the end. end. It's on the end right above your head. All the guys are like, just get the beer. Just get the beer. Ten seconds, Will. <laughs> Jennifer, your turn. The trick was leg power. Ten seconds. <laughs> Jennifer did, did a hell of a good job. She grabbed a bunch of balls. All right, Karen, let the spiraling begin. <laughs> Woo! You can do it! Make sure you use your legs. Come on, Karen. Trying to get that where I can grab these suckers. The first spin that it took me on really, really threw me for a loop. It was harder than I thought it would be to stay on. Are you ready, Holly? Yeah! Oh. I got tuna. My cats like tuna. <laughs> but they're not here. You're doing great, Holly. I yes. am? Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think you're lying. 15 seconds. 15. I feel like a bizarre monkey. Ah! 10 seconds. You're doing fine. Yeah. Oh, you're you're out. Uh, Did I lose? <laughs> out of time. The first person out. I'm a little disappointed in myself, but hey, you know, there's many more competitions that I hopefully will do better in. All right, Scott. Oh, oh, I got in there. I mean, a big body. I was I'm six four and a half. I mean, it just threw me. Are you ready, Mike? Yes, ma'am. Let the spiraling begin. Forty-five seconds on the clock. Ten seconds. All right, Marvin, you are the last one. I went last. I was the rolls apart. <laughs> you know, all the good balls were gone. I suck. <laughs> I won't sleep good tonight because I only got two balls. Okay, house guests, it's time to see what you'll be eating for the week. Michael, you're up first. What do you got? Prune juice. <laughs> Rack of lamb. Some shrimp. A nice filet mignon. Oh. I have eggs. Woo. Yeah. Whole milk. For the ladies in the place, Diet Cola. Woo. I, I have... have... <laughs> Come on, Nothing? Butter. Brown rice. Gargonzola like cheese. <laughs> no, I got the worst balls here. <laughs> Speaking of balls, I got mixed nuts. <laughs> lobster tail. Yeah. Lori, hold yeah. on to that lobster tail ball. Retrieve it back. You just can hold on to that. Seeing all them balls in the glass is awesome. We was gonna uh, eat and drink like kings and queens. 
Our motto this season is do not assume. So don't assume this competition is over yet. <laughs> now, Lori, you still have that lobster tail ball, correct? Yep. Go ahead and open it up. Uh-oh. A key. I want you to take that key. Yep. And use it to open the box on the table. <gasps> oh, my. Oh, my God. What is it? It's $10,000. Oh, as you can see, Lori, inside the box is $10,000 worth of cold hard cash. Yeah. Oh now, Lori, that money is yours to keep. Yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I love you, Julie. Wait, don't touch it. Don't okay. touch it. There is a catch. If you decide to keep the $10,000, you and your fellow housemates will lose all your groceries and be forced to eat PB&J for the week. Now, Lori, we're going to give you some time to decide your and your housemates' fate. No discussion with your housemates, though. Give you some time to think about it. It's greed versus groceries. What will Lori decide to do? We'll find out Lori's decision when we return and we'll reveal more about the two house guests who have no clue they are actually related. And later, a second incredible twist as Project Do Not Assume continues. Want more, Big Brother? Then log on to CBS.com and subscribe for unlimited access 24-7. For exclusive live video stream, live chat, and more, log on now. Welcome back. After competing in the food competition, the house guests have won groceries for the week, and Lori was lucky enough to win the ball worth $10,000, leaving her with a nerve-wracking decision. She can't keep the money, but by doing so, she forces the whole Big Brother house to live on peanut butter and jelly all week long. Now, Lori, you have a very tough decision to make. 10 grand for you or a variety of food for the house. Now, if you say no to the money, you must pass the $10,000 onto the next house guest in line. That would be Michael and leave him with the same difficult decision. $10,000 is a lot of money. Yep. And remember, at the end of the summer, only one of you will walk away with the half million dollar prize. So, Lori, the cash is yours to keep. You can walk away with the money. But do you trust your other housemates with the same decision? I'll take it. I'll take it. We can do it. Take Everyone it. say it? Take it. Okay. You guys were up there. Can we answer this? Uh. Can we change? I'm going to take the money, Julie. Oh, <laughs> hell of a first day. And you understand that means everyone, including you, will be eating peanut butter and jelly for the whole week. Yes, I understand. Okay. Well, congratulations, Lori. The $10,000 is all yours. Everyone else, I'm sorry, but it looks like peanut butter and jelly for the house for the entire week. All right, house guests, you can all go back inside, and I'll check back with you a little later. I despise peanut butter and jelly. I hate it with a passion. Thank you, guys. And we go through all that stuff trying to get some food, and then she go take the 10 grand and make us eat PB and J. And then on top of that, she's still in the game and still got a shot at winning a half million. I was like, I don't care how good she looks, she got to go. Everyone would take it, right? I've already won. Great, enjoy. A little Concord Let's grape jelly. practice eating it now. <laughs> the whole time before the show, I was like, I hope I never have to eat this peanut butter jelly. First thing of the night in the show, <laughs> and I'm already eating I was pretty pissed off about having peanut butter and jelly for a week. <laughs> Would you like some oh. peanut butter and jelly? I'm looking. I can make you a sandwich. I'm a microwave. Maybe that'll help. Uh, I'm 212 pounds, solid steel, sex appeal. <laughs> 
eat peanut butter and jelly. I might like Whitney Houston before it's all over with. <laughs> you got to think about the 10 grand, and then you got to think about the game. Did you take it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I would. She took $10,000. We're not benefiting. We're eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches all week. I would definitely be nervous if I was Lori right now. You had to have been totally shaken when you saw that money. I've never even had that much money. Like, that's awesome. You know, it's hard to say no. I was like, that's not really like a good way to start up game. That is crazy. Screwing everyone over. Shoot. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think that they're going to hold it against me. Her days are marked. Everyone knows it. She's going to have to be strong to survive now. What's up? I was definitely like, Lori, take the money, take the money. You know, well, I'll do with peanut butter, like, no problem. Right now, those guys are looking for scapegoats. Is there a gay guy? Mm hmm. Where is it? There's no gay guy, right? No. Is that what you're talking about? No, uh. No, but see, you know, listen, listen, listen. I want to break up. I'm like, somebody. Will actually told me that he was gay. Automatically, you were like, you were the first person that I told him made a connection with. Yes, uh, fuck okay. you. Okay. I knew that I wanted to tell you first. All right, good. Yeah. Because I'm very proud of who I am. Yeah, the decisions yeah. I made, so I'm not wanting to hide it. I'm just waiting for the right time to play it. And then when we do it, I just want to like break out like a random comment about like my boyfriend and just like wait till we're all <laughs> dipping around the table and just watch everybody's face. You uh, sucked here. Okay. I love it. Awesome. <laughs> I feel like I can trust him and that he would be someone in the house that I, I would be the closest with. So he's someone that hopefully will go to the end of the game. Yeah, we'll have to talk about it. Yeah? For sure. All right. Good night, guys. All right. Good night, Marv. Good night, doll. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> she did not break that bed. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night, Will. Are you? We've been setting it off this morning. Huh? We couldn't sleep. We got on up. You know what I'm saying? After I get my 3.2 hours of sleep, I'm straight. Oh, it's all good. What you gonna have for breakfast? Um, I'm thinking about oh, some God. lovely wheat toast with some peanut butter and maybe light jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Hook me up, man. I like this group right here. Yeah. This is this is cool. <laughs> it's really cool. Like there, there's some really cool guys in this house, and uh, Michael, uh, Scott. Drew and I, we kind of kind of bonded up today. What's up? Did you hear the story last night about Drew? I kid you not. I woke up and this kid's <laughs> on my shoulder like this, sleeping head first. <laughs> <laughs> In all honesty, between us, like I ain't trying to do anything, but who do you think would be first? Like Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously, she's an easy target, but, uh, and none of us are gonna feel bad about, about it. I think. The people that aren't very funny or fun to be around, because when the, the, the weeks go on, we're gonna need that. Here's the That's thing. True. Here's the thing. I don't want to live with people that I don't like. Right. Period. Diane was in the conversation, so I guess it'd be five of us. But you know, the backbone will be us four guys. This group, you all, y'all. I would not nominate I any of you. I'm saying that right now. I would say Boogie. I feel like this morning I might have jumped into something too quickly, but like, if there's anybody that I feel like I can trust right now, it'd be those guys. I like this group. Hey, Ooh. I'm down right here. Knights of the Round Table right here. I'm someone that absolutely cannot be trusted in this Big Brother game. If the guys in the, the our group of four, if they slip up, I will totally, you know, totally turn. I bet Thank you can make some hella fine tea. <laughs> Does anyone need any water? You? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come get some too. Okay. You guys good? The game has started. I think there's going to be a power struggle this week. So I think that Mike is here, and I think that Mike's someone that we could reason with. 
Diane thinks he's creepy. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I think that right now what we have to worry about is saying that there's the alpha male contingent. I have a personal strategy that's starting to form. Very excited about the possibility of aligning myself with Karen and Lori. These are two girls that are genuine. They're here to play the game with integrity. Strength in numbers, we're obviously all very honest people. Everybody is in the honesty thing, but I'm not feeling it like I do with her and you. Exactly. I like Will. He seems pretty honest, and he seems to have the same feelings about the way to play the game as I do. Us three is like my ultimate fantasy. Yeah, no, no, no. As well, soon as I met both of you guys, I feel like I'm... I already told them I will not ever like put you guys out. No, this is done deal. You too. Will and I just had a lot of things in common. I feel like I can trust him and that he would be someone in the house that I, I would be the closest with. I think we got really voice. lucky with this chemistry. Yeah. Like, I don't, I didn't expect it to happen. I think people should definitely start watching out. The, si the sides are set, and this is going to be this summer. I think that things are going to get real ugly. Welcome back. Our house guests are learning more about each other and are already making a play for power. This season on Big Brother, we have a shocking new twist. We call it Project Do Not Assume, Project DNA for short. For the first time ever, we have two house guests who are related by blood. The twist? They have no idea of this biological connection. Which house guests are related and what family bond do they share? Let's find out. Michael is the half-brother of Jennifer. They have the same father. Jennifer has known her dad for her entire life, but Michael has never even met him. Both Michael and Jennifer are completely unaware that the other exists. Here is their story. I have never met my real father. This was my mom, my brother and I at Christmas, us three. Uh, how a lot of, you know, Christmases we just shared just as three. Mom had to be the mom and the dad. I always did wonder, you know, who was my real father even when I was younger. This is a picture of me and my sister and my father. We would always get pictures taken. My family's always been a really big hard copy type of people. My mom, she probably worked, you know, a couple of jobs so we could have, you know, a decent life. Everyone else would have, you know, a mom and a dad. We just had a mom. I was born in Houston, Texas. Me and my father and my mother lived there. Um, whenever I was three, we moved to Dorita, Louisiana. My mother was a single mother that raised my brother and I. Uh, at the age of eight, we moved to Oklahoma. And uh, so it was my mother and my brother and I. I've always, you know, veered more from my father than my mother. I'm more outdoorsy. I, I like drawing. Me and my father just have more in common. I did uh, think about my real father, you know, throughout my whole life and a little bit now, you know, who he is, you know, uh, do I look like him. There was a time where I broke down, like, where is he, you know, and, you know, there was that chance of, you know, looking for him, but I did stop because I do have a stepfather and to me, he's, right, you know, been there and helped raise my brother and I. My father has had a little bit of an impact on me as who I want to be as a person just for the fact that he won't give up. I mean, he was in Vietnam and stepped on a landmine and uh, lost half of his foot. And now he, he can run and walk and all of that good stuff. And this one's of my dad whenever he was younger. I do know that he did serve in our country in Vietnam. He uh, did lead some men through, you know, landmines and did get his foot blown off. One thing I do know about my real father is that his last name is Dead Man. Tracing like I taught you. Go overhead and just let go. Okay. Me not having a father at a young age really reflects how I want to be there with my stepson chasing, you know, in the front yard, playing football, soccer, t-ball, just everything that I wasn't given when I was younger. The only type of brother that I would want would definitely be an older brother, and that's only because then I could milk him for what an older brothers are good for. He could teach me how to fight, you know, then I would have an, an excuse for going out and camping all the time. I always wanted a younger sister to protect because, you know, to me, I get along with my mother, my fiance, and it's just 
I don't know, to me, I get along with the women a lot better than I do the men. When it comes to the house guest, I think this is a great experience going in, not only to win the money, but hopefully meet a good friend. When will Jennifer and Michael find out about this secret? How will they react when they hear this incredible news? Remember, the other house guests have no idea, and Project DNA has only just begun. Stay tuned to hear about a second shocking twist. Want more Big Brother? Then log on to CBS.com and subscribe for unlimited access 24-7. For exclusive live video stream, live chat, and more, log on now. Welcome back. 13 men and women are adjusting to life in the Big Brother house, and they are already making a play for power. Project DNA continues as two of our house guests have no idea they are really half brother and sister. Let's see what's been going on. What do you guys think my last name is? Jill. What do you find in a castle? The head guy. King. 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 Oh, King. Molly, Holly King. Cool. King of Hollywood. Hollywood oh. King. Is that your real name or do you mm -hmm. make it up out no, here? That's my real name. Really? Mm -hmm. We were sitting around the pool, um, all of us house guests, and I was like, so when do we get to know each other's last name? Nick, what is your last name? Uh, Deadman. Deadman? Yeah. Really? D-E-D-M-O-N. And it went to Jennifer, and she said Deadman. And all that I knew of my real father was that his last name was Deadman. And where, where are you from? San Antonio. That's where you was born? Houston born. The last name was the trigger that was like, wait a minute. Was your dad in the service or anything? Yeah. He was in the army, served in oh, Vietnam, um, lost half of his foot and got medical discharge. Really? Yeah. So okay. it's... What's your dad's name? Guy. Oh, Guy? Guy. G-U-Y. Yeah. So that's your dad's first name is Guy? It's Arthur Guy Deadman. And I knew that that was his middle name. He goes by his first initial though, so technically it's A Guy Deadman. Oh, okay. <laughs> Boom. So he was in Vietnam? Mm-hmm. Uh, he wanted to stay in, but they wouldn't because of his whole medical What happened? Situation. Did he like step on landmines? My, my emotions right there was another, I mean, wind that pushed me back a little bit. I mean, gasping for air just a little bit because everything was starting to piece together. When putting the pieces together, I did realize that I did have a sister in the house. this game to win it for my fiance and my son and I didn't want to let it out of the bag because I didn't want to hurt me and I, I could hurt me a little bit. What, what's your dad like? Is he built? I mean how tall is he? Um, he's probably like this tall. Taller than me or? Realizing Jennifer was my half sister and I started looking at her face more and just looking up and down. And there, there is some resemblance. So you and your dad don't, you know, talk about like his relationships before your mother or anything? I know we have before, but it was so long ago. Have you ever just wondered if may he got with, you know, a woman and there was a child out there or something, like another brother or sister? I have, and I've asked him, and there isn't. Really? Because I always wondered. It's like, no. So, not that I know of. So you've asked that already. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, hello. What would you rather have him? Another uh, brother or... Sister? Yeah, sister. I don't know. It depends. I'd probably want an older brother. Why is that? Because I've never had an older brother. That's cool. You know, I already have a sister, so... When she said that she wanted an older brother, I was like, in a way, I wanted to tell her right there, like, well, here I am. But I still, I kept in. That's just me. Probably be an older brother. 
That's cool. Someone that I can beat up on. Oh, that's good. That's a great thing. Maybe I've won the relationship, hopefully, out of this house with a new family. Uh, When we return, the first head of household competition. Find out who will become the most powerful person in the house. And later, Project DNA. Do not assume that you have it all figured out. Welcome back. It's day two at the Big Brother house. Today, the 13 house guests go head to head in another high stakes competition, and this one is for power. Each week, one person will win head of household. Free from the threat of eviction, that person also gets some special privileges, including their very own private bedroom. But with these perks comes the ultimate responsibility. The head of household must nominate two house guests for eviction. Who will be the first head of household on Big Brother 5? Let's find out. Hello, house guests. Hey, Julie. Hey, Julie. <laughs> All right, it's time to see who will win the first head of household competition. I am now going to ask you to split up into teams of two and then have a seat on the couch next to your partner. If you don't have a partner, please remain standing. That's it? All y'all said? Here, I don't have a partner. We'll take you, baby. I'll do it. I'll do it without a partner. I'll step up. All right, looks like everyone's partnered up, right? Yeah. And Will? Will, you are the odd person out, yes. and I will explain your part of the competition later. Okay. Okay, everyone else, go ahead and get changed into the team t-shirts provided, and then please go out to the backyard. Oh, oh. oh we got you. No. Looks oh, like snot. As you can see, the backyard has been transformed into an outdoor gym. Yes. There are six treadmills, also known as the treadmills of terror. Now, I want each team to pick a treadmill. One teammate will be walking on the treadmill. You will be the walker. The other will be answering a series of questions. That person will be known as the talker. I'll be, do you want me to be the walker and you give me the memory? And Will, you can go ahead and take a seat. Talkers, you will be answering either yes or no. If you are correct, the treadmill stays at the same speed. <laughs> Talkers, you control the fate of the walkers. Because if you answer wrong, I will speed up the treadmill. Once the last question is read, for whoever is left, the game becomes about endurance. If you stop or fall off the treadmill, you will tumble into a giant pit of mud and your team will be disqualified. The team whose walker can stay on the treadmill the longest is one step closer to becoming head of household. Okay, let's start your treadmills. I'm going to ask the talkers a series of questions about your fellow housemates based on a questionnaire you filled out earlier. Let's see how well you've gotten to know each other. Here's the first question. Would you assume Jennifer is a natural blonde? Answers, please. The correct answer is yes. Only two teams got it right. Sorry, Drew. Really sorry, Michael. Your treadmill is speeding up, as is Diane's, because Holly got it wrong, as is Scott's, because Jace got it wrong, as is Adria's. Marvin got it wrong. Would you assume that Michael flunked a class in high school? Answers, please. The correct answer is no. Come on, guys. <laughs> Sorry, Marvin and Adria. Sorry, Holly and Diane. And sorry, Karen. Would you assume that Karen has never voted for president? The correct answer is yes. Yeah. So the only people who got it right 
for Holly and Jace. Everyone else, Zara, your teams are getting their treadmills sped up. I thought, well, I can walk this for hours. I could be on this for days. But when we get into jog mode, I knew I'd probably be one first or second one to go. Would you assume Mike likes romantic comedies? The correct answer is yes. Sorry, Drew. Sorry, Holly. Sorry, Marvin. Would you assume that Jace's funniest nickname is Hollywood? The correct answer is yes. Jennifer and Lori got it wrong as we speed up the treadmills for Mike and Karen. Would you assume that Diane wants to take a karaoke machine into the Big Brother house? The correct answer is no. Drew, Jennifer, Lori, and Marvin all got it wrong. Would you assume that Marvin is a soap opera fan? Soap opera fan. The correct answer is yes. Drew got it wrong, Jennifer got it wrong, and surprisingly, Marvin got it wrong. Hey, come on, dude, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin, you answered yes on your questionnaire, and you wrote that you watched The Young and the Restless. Hey, that was years ago. <laughs> Would you assume Drew is afraid of clowns. Clowns? The correct answer is no. Drew is afraid of sharks. Good job, Drew. So Jennifer got it wrong, Marvin got it wrong, and Holly got it wrong. Oh, our first person is out. Adria has fallen into the mud, eliminating Adria and Marvin from the head of household competition. I'm not in the greatest shape, but I knew I was good for a mile or a mile and a half. Would you assume that Scott is a Hillary Duff fan? Scott? The correct answer is yes. Sorry, Drew, Jennifer, and Holly all got it wrong. Let's speed up the treadmills. I'm a little out of shape. I haven't ran on a treadmill in about a year. It was really hard to keep myself going. Would you assume that one of Adria's favorite foods is sushi? The correct answer is no. Oh, Raw fish makes Adria physically ill. It's okay. it's okay, dude. Sorry, Drew. Sorry, Lori. You got it wrong as we speed up Karen and Michael's treadmills. Drew already got me up to uh, full speed, and uh, I seen that Scott was just at a trot, and I was like, okay. Oh, we have another team eliminated as Mike just fell into the pit of mud, eliminating both Mike and Jennifer. Sorry guys, nice try. Would you assume that Holly's choice of creature comforts, if stranded on a desert island, would be a monkey, goat, and a chihuahua? I hope. The correct answer is yes. Yes! <laughs> the only person what? to get it right is Drew. Oh, and eliminated another team, Diane and Holly. How the hell did I get it wrong? This is the last question. Would you assume Lori is happiest when she's meditating? The correct answer is no. Lori's the only one who got it right. Lori is happiest yeah. when she's eating. Michael was just running his butt off, giving his heart, wouldn't give up. Karen, she was going at a pretty fast pace, probably the same pace for quite a long time. And then I was just kind of breezing through, you know, walking around. Okay, it's now a matter of endurance. Every five minutes, the speed of the treadmill will increase until it hits the maximum speed. The team that has the willpower to last the longest will be one step closer to becoming head of household. I'm going. Oh, oh, nice effort, Michael. All right, another team has been eliminated. Michael and Drew out of the competition for head of household. Now remaining just Karen and Lori. 
Jace and Scott. Up next, which team can hold out the longest? And don't forget, a second twist to Project Do Not Assume is coming up. Welcome back. The head of household competition is underway. It will determine the most powerful position in the house. And it's now all a matter of endurance. Two teams are left, Jason Scott and Karen and Lori. Which team has the willpower to last the longest? And remember, every five minutes, I'll be increasing the speed of the treadmill. The last team remaining will be one step closer to becoming head of household. Let's check in. How are you two holding up in there? Beautiful. I'm okay. Karen, I'm a you, toughie. you are a toughie. You've obviously done this before, but you're looking just a little bit worn out. You're okay? Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm like sweaty, but you think that's you, the fun of it. You think you can keep going? Yeah. You're waiting slowly I'm for... I'm getting maxed out, man. Yeah. <laughs> They're achieving. Yeah, Scott, we've so increased the speed it. once. He's still trotting. Yeah. Scott, are you at all tired? No, not at all. Legs are getting heavy, girl. Could be trying to psych you out there, Karen. for fun. I can run. I started at three miles a day ten years ago and I got up to about seven, seven and a half miles at least four to five times a week. I will take anybody any day on a treadmill. Oh crap. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Scott, does it feel a little bit faster now? Yeah. I knew the uh, Scott could run for days. Well, girl, either way, I love you. I'm impressed. Seriously. Scott said, you know, Karen, you know I love you. I feel that he said it in a way where I gained a little bit of respect. If I'd have sat there and just said, you're, you're going down, you're going down, she'd have kept on going and going and going. I was rooting for Karen to win because I have a strong bond with Karen. I knew that I would be completely safe with Karen in the role of head of household. I was definitely rooting for Scott. You know, Scott comes through with it, and you know, we'll be, we'll be golden. You know, him on, on our side and, and with our alliance going on. I'm down right here. Knights of the Round Table right here. though Karen you and Lori have been eliminated you hung in there for a nice long stretch when she bit the dust I helped her up like a true gentleman congratulations to Scott and Jace I knew I wasn't gonna lose uh, if I lost to her or lost to a girl I'd, I'd probably ask myself to be eliminated now will you might be asking yourself well what's my role in this competition yes Julie will you'll help decide the first head of household. <laughs> You've been given an envelope. It's under your cushion. Now take that envelope and go stand with the two winners. Don't open it yet. Now inside is a question about you. Between Scott and Jace, you must choose who you would like to answer your question. If the person you choose answers right, they become the first head of household. If they get the answer wrong, their partner will be named head of household. So Will, who would you like to choose? Scott, you did the work. You want to answer the question? No. No? All right, Jace? Yeah. All right, All right. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Will, open the envelope and ask your question. All righty, Jace, would you assume that my dream job is to own a high-end restaurant in South Africa? No. 
The answer is no. I would like to run a medical clinic in South Africa. <laughs> Congratulations, Jace. You are the first head of household. Congratulations. Now for the next week, the destiny of your fellow housemates is in your hands. Being head of household, you will have to decide which two house guests you will nominate for eviction. I pray that I'm not nominated for eviction. This, I mean, if I am nominated for eviction, then I don't know them. I'm just kind of going to see what happens. I think that... I certainly could have a chance to get evicted because of the fact that I took the $10,000. You're going to get nominated sooner or later. It's just uh, folks that count. In the meantime, Jace, enjoy your private bedroom. And once again, congratulations. Nice work, everyone. No, no, no. You got it. <laughs> Next, it's another layer to Project DNA. It's a surprise that could put the house guests in double jeopardy. Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother 5. Project DNA is well underway. Michael has started to piece the puzzle together. He now knows that Jennifer is his half-sister, but she still has no idea of this connection. When will he reveal his family secret? And there is yet another shocking twist to Project DNA. One of our 13 house guests has an identical twin that is also playing the Big Brother game. Their resemblance to each other is remarkable. Even their own family can't tell them apart. The other house guests have no idea, but both twins will be taking turns living in the house and competing as one. That's right, two will switch places and play as one. Will they be able to fool the other house guests and how will they be able to pull it off? Join me on July 15th when I return live to reveal the details of the twist and the identity of the twins. And that's just the beginning of a groundbreaking season of Big Brother 5. Take a look at what's happening the rest of the summer. What's going on right now? There will be twists, yeah! turns, and surprises. I'm just tripping out of my mind right dude, dude. As Project DNA turns the Big Brother house upside down. I could have a sibling that I don't know about. Brother and sister battle for the half million dollars. No. Uh -huh. As original plan. And which of these 13 house guests has an identical twin also playing the Big Brother game? It's double the trouble for the house guests when the shocking secret is revealed that one of them is actually two. Well, you're twin thing. The drama continues every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night. Really? Watch as alliances are formed. Let's pick off a couple of easy ones just to start with. Relationships are tested. You're talking about me when I come in and Where are see you. And strategies are shattered. Oh my God, guys, guess what? Boys will be boys. All summer long on Big Brother 5. It's just crazy. You know this is crazy. Yeah! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's guaranteed to be an exciting summer. Be sure to tune in this Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, when our head of household chooses the first two house guests for eviction. Then be sure to watch on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 Central, for a new twist to the power of veto. And remember, I'll be back next week, Thursday, at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, for Big Brother 5's first live eviction. To see all of the action as it happens, go to CBS.com to subscribe to the live 24-hour internet feed. And next on CBS, Allison from Big Brother 4 and her boyfriend Donnie compete on the new season of The Amazing Race. From outside the Big Brother house, I'm Julie Chen. Good night.